So welcome back to Deliver Coding. In today's video, we're going to learn how to do authentication uh, with social media. So first, we're gonna do authentication with Facebook, with GitHub, and Google, and all of this possible by using Firebase. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any tech data you want, and I'm using Create React app for this project. And so, and here is our result right now. So the first thing first that you need to do, you need to install uh, Re uh, Firebase into your project. So you can use either uh, npm or yarn. So let's go ahead and do that. I, I have already done that. And the next thing is you need to do is to create a Firebase project. If you have done create this one, so you don't need to. But so right now I'm going to create a new Firebase, a new project. I'm going to call this one new projects. And then I accept the term and this one and then you just click accept everything so you can choose any location you want so I'm going to go with the United States right here so it might take a couple of minutes alright so after that done you will see this uh, screen right here and what we're interested in too is to uh, create a project for webs and then you can click on the web right here and then you can give your apps name so I'm gonna say uh, demo and then we do we done it hosting so this one you can set up later on. So now we're gonna click this one and then it's gonna generate our SDK. And then we can grab this one. So which what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna copy everything from here. So after this, I've copied this, I'm cutting you. If you have an existing project, you can go into this uh, right here and then you go project setting. And then you can go into, you can fix right here as well. So it's, it's similar to this one. All right, so after that, we're going to add this one to our project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a folder called Config, and then I'm going to create called Firebase, uh, Firebase Config.js, and then I'm going to paste everything here, and then I'm changing this to cons, and then we need to import Firebase from Firebase, from yeah, Firebase that we install. And the next thing is we need to export default Firebase. All right, so that's pretty much it. And for the next things that we have to do, we need to uh, do authentication. So we're going to create a function for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this call the folder called uh, service. And this service is going to handle the authentication. So often or I just call this author.js and now we're gonna have the function called social uh, media auth so it's gonna take this one and then it's gonna do the authentication right here and which what, or what I'm gonna do I'm gonna export default social media auth so uh, this one we uh, not yet do anything to this one yet so and then I'm going to the, and the next thing is we need to config the method that we're going to use. So because uh, we're going to use with uh, Google, Firebase, uh, Google, Facebook, and GitHub. So you need to go into authentication right here. And then you, on the sign up method right here, you need to uh, enable all of this. So for that, first I'm going to go into config this one first. I'm going to do the auth method that we're going to do. And then in here, I'm going to uh, cons. Uh, so we're going to know Facebook's provider is going to be equal to Firebase. That also we need to import Firebase. So right here, I'm going to do import Firebase from Firebase configs. And then what we can do is Firebase.os.firebase. Uh, that Facebook's auth provider and now we can export this one export con this one and we're gonna do this three times so this one is for uh, github's provider and this one is going to be Google uh, provider and then this one is going to be Google provider and then this one is going to be github provider all right so that's pretty much it. All right, so in here we can pass a provider as the parameter 
and then what we can do in here well, we can do we can do firebase so we need to import that from our configs so import firebase uh, from uh, we get out from here and then we go to config config firebase and then we, we can do os dot uh, sign in with pop up and then we can pass the, our provider and then we can do dot then uh, this is a respond and then we can return the respond with the user and then if there's an error so we can uh, respond that one as well so return rest and this one we can do return as well return from this one and I think that's pretty much it on uh, for the, our function so in here and not rest it's gonna be error okay great all right, so next we're going to create a UI so that we can have a button to log in for that. So in here in app.js, I'm going to create a button. Uh, this one, all right, called buttons, and then we're going to do Facebooks. And then we can do on clicks, and then we're going to call handle on clicks. All right, so this one, and then I'm going to create a function call handles on click handle on cl click okay so in here we're gonna pass the provider so we're gonna have facebook provider and if you're using with github you need to pass the github provider so when we're doing that we need to do like this so otherwise we're gonna call this immediately so then in here we're gonna have the provider parameter and after that we can call our social media provider and then we can do kind of result right here we can do a wait from this one and for, by that we need to use an async on top right here so after that we can console the lock of the result and same thing we can uh, copy and paste this one three times and this one we're going to do with the github provider and then this one we're going to do with google provider you can actually looping this one as well. So this one is going to be GitHub and this one is going to be Google. All right, so now if I refresh. So there's an error right here. This CA is not a function. All right, I think so. Oh, okay. So we need to create uh, this one. We need to import this one with a new keyword. So then I think everything should be work fine. All right, so that's good. So we have this one. It look really ugly. I think I can put this one in the header, I guess. All right, good. So now if I press on Facebook, so it's gonna be open pop-ups like this one, but uh, right now if we go back into our console, we should have an error, I guess, uh, because we not allow. So we do not, not allow doing with Facebook yet. So, and the first thing first that you need to do with Facebook is you need to go into the um, uh, Git uh, Firebase authentication, and then you can go into Facebook right here. So, and then we need to enable this one. So, when you click enable, it need require an app ID and app secret. So, where do you get this one? So, you get this one by going to the Facebooks for developer, and then you can click on the first link right here, and then you can go to my apps, and then if you don't have an app, you can create an app but uh, I already have an app so I can click on this app and after that this is an app ID so you can see there's an app ID right here so you can copy this one and paste it right here and if you want an app secret you go to setting and then go to basics and then if this is your app secret so you click show this one and then you give a password to this one so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give my password and so I can sell this one so after this one you give uh, you can get the app secret and then you can paste it right here all right so the last thing that we need to do we need to copy this one and now we hit save so we go back into our app we go into our Facebook logins and then we go into setting and then we need to uh, paste this one so this is my previous project so I can remove this one or you can keep uh, there's a multiple way so then you can paste this one and after that you click uh, save all right so after that done you right now you can refresh this one and you can do Facebook uh, login again so for that I'm gonna do with 
uh, this one right here I'm gonna and then I'm gonna do Facebook login so it's gonna be pop up and redirect it to uh, lock in with my Facebook so the app setup is still development mode and you don't have access to switch which is the test user to ask an app admin for permissions okay I see so we need so we need our app for, for that I think maybe I can do it in here uh, let's see so I need to sit save this one and I think I can create this one so right now if we go back in here as you can see we have the information of uh, me but uh, like I told you like as you can see before because our app is in the development so we need to make this one uh, into the live so that we can allow other user to use this one so for now uh, because it's in only in the development mode uh, when I cr only create using this app so only I can register with this one and the next thing is we need to do uh, maybe you have any still any question you can uh, still ask me on how to make a live you can ask me in the discord server as well and the next thing is we need to do with Google so Google is really simple and you can go into Google right here and then you click this one enable and then you provide your email so then you click save so I already done that so I can click on the Google right here so in here what I can do I can click on Google so right now there's an email like this one I'm gonna choose this one and all right so that pretty much it so as you can see and in the console.log right here we can have uh, the emails so this is the email that we sign in and the last one is we're gonna do with github so we hit github similar so you go to github and you click enable then you need the client ID and client secret and also a similar with the Facebook but this one is not complicated it's easily than Facebook so all you need to do is to go into your github profile then click on your profile and then you go into developer setting and then you can click on OAuth apps then you click a new OAuth app and then you give your application name so I'm going to give this like a demo and this one you can do with the local host and then the authorize this one that's the link is from the firebase so I can copy this one so I think I can move this one to right here okay so I can copy this one and then I go back into my github and then I can paste this URL and give a description so demo and then you register and then you have the demo app and this is your client ID so you can copy this one and the client secret um, let's see where do we get this one so this one generate a client secret and then this one uh, after copy that one you can paste it right here Right, let's see so you cut you need to copy your secret right here and then the next the last one so you copy this one you hit save and then you need to pass the so we already done that so we paste this one so we're gonna do update our projects all right so that pretty much it so then I'm gonna refresh this one I'm gonna go with github and that should do it and then it's authorized with me with this app so then I do authorize and then voila after that as you can see we can go into DM right here we which is the, there's an email right here so yeah I think um, that pretty much it on how to do authentication with uh, social media so we do Facebook we do github and Google and if you have any questions so you can ask me and in the discord server or in the comments below and i hope this tutorial help you and all right so see you guys in the next video